ladies and gentlemen, since we have been granted another brand new day, it's our time we go to our elders again for wisdom. My name is Mauto, aka Fulmo, aka Miss Okubo. You are welcome to Xylos Media. Uh, in our last episode, we talked about what spiritual cleansing is and the things that we do that makes our body become spiritually dirty and things that we are supposed to do to what uh, to clean ourselves. So if you want yourself to be spiritually uh, spiritually cleaned, what you do is that you take the number on our screen, then you contact away. <coughs> so that you can get yourself free from things that you have been doing ignorantly. Today, I'm also here with Togwe once again for him to give us his knowledge. But before I go to him, let me remind you of this powerful uh, medicine that he prepared using pure honey and herbs to do. It is what, it's something that will connect your retentive memory to nature. It's something that will connect you yourself to the mother nature for you to understand everything that we are doing on this planet. If you are someone that likes to forget things for fast, nah, like you, you the one watching me, can you put the number on our screen, contact us and you get one. Without wasting too much time, let me just go to talk with him. He welcome that we begin the conversation. Tobi, greetings to you as well. <laughs> We really enjoyed the last episode about cleansing, and I hope our viewers will be contacting you so that you all free us because people are here for humanity. Thank you very much. Uh, so when we look at other religions and the way they treat women, I will not mention the religions, but people who are watching us know how other religions make women look inferior. Some even some other religions, when they are in their places and they are worshiping, they even separate the women from the men for their own personal reason. So with, traditionally, what I thought is womanhood, the woman is a, who is woman. Thank you. Mm. Uh, woman is very important mm. in our society. Woman, what is a woman? A woman. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Woman is the awakener of everything in the universe. Okay. I repeat. Woman mm. is the awakener of every single thing in this universe. Mm. So if something is responsible for awakening life, Awakening everything. If something is responsible, is, is the awakening energy mm. that end happens to be the mother of everything. Mm. So women are so powerful. Women are very important in our society. If you come to the Everest cosmology, we call them nyom. Nyom. The word no means awake now. Mm. So, a no is everything in the universe. Mm. No is everything. So, no means the awakener of everything in the universe. So, for anything at all to be awakened, for anything at all to move forward, must come from our women. So, that is the reason why if you go today today to the everland we have what we call a trunk of the system mm -hmm. the fiat system which is school for women and womanhood to be in our cultural system is it is that what they have been telling us in our social studies and science like trophy system yes okay so then the trophy and trophy which is the correct one well I can give you the meaning of the two, it's okay. the same oh, meaning. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The word tra is to transform. Mm -hmm. Tra is to transform. So a system that can transform the life of people. Okay. So women are very important in our society. And without a woman, there's not going to be anything. This universe will not be here. Mm -hmm. Because the energy that contain the entire universe is a female energy and therefore women are so important in our society if the universe has to 
agree and accept the fact that we should put women at the front of every affair, of everything happening in this life. I'm telling you, it's going to be the number one thing this universe would have done. Now, woman is the awakener of everything. But it is so unfortunate that our women themselves today are not aware that they are the awakener of this universe. It is so painful that our women lost consciousness. They, have, they lost focus on themselves, forgetting that they originate this universe. They brought life into this universe. They sustain life in this universe. And I can tell you for a fact, if you come to a first cosmology, the, the creative energies, the creative energy controlling this universe, making sure that everything is working, is or are female energies. Mm -hmm. I can give you an example okay. that the reason why when the two cells from the man and the woman comes together, they have to develop to become a child, it is a female energy that can do that. Mm -hmm. In fact, you the man release the Yakushi, you the men release the semen to the women. Mm -hmm. What they do with your semen, turn that semen to become a baby, to become a child, you know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. And the energy for development is a female energy. Energy for growth is a female energy. Energy for differentiation is a female energy. Energy for multiplication, addition, subtraction is a female energy. Mm -hmm. Energy for motion is also a female energy. So, an energy of vibration is also a female energy. Energy of attraction is a female energy. Gravitational energy is a female energy. Mm -hmm. And all these things are mentioning have their original sound code in the Afro cosmology. Okay. So, for a woman to assume her state as a woman, for a woman to know and acquire the knowledge of a woman or a position of a woman, this universe must have developed in the right direction, not what we are seeing today. I can tell you that for about so many hundreds of years ago, this universe was so much far, far better than what we have today. Mm. I can tell you for a fact. Mm. Today, the universe is so corrupt. Today, the leadership of this universe are so corrupt, they are not, sorry to say, women. Mm. The reason I'm saying this is, looking at the whole universe, creating weapons of mass destruction, mm. we have lost it. If we are to follow the ancient path, respect the laws of nature, make sure we fortify the energies of this universe, nobody will think evil about anybody. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, you, you are no more. Yeah. So the whole universe will be a place for living. Now, all these energies are female energies. And our women, they have failed the universe. They fail the universe because today they do not even know they possess or have any energy or powerful energies within them. So this is the problem of the universe. Our women cause the downfall of the universe. And I will not blame them, but rather the religious bodies. We have placed men at the forefront, pushing the women behind. If you come to Christianity, they put Jesus Christ over there okay. as your personal Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Why not a woman? Mm -hmm. Who gave birth to the Jesus Christ? 
can a man give birth? And even the Jesus Christ, uh, according to their belief, is a woman that gave birth to the uh, Jesus Christ. Like when they are mentioning the Trinity, the three Trinity, they do not add woman. They do they record the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they have neglected the woman aspect of the Trinity that formed Jesus. Yes, because they lost the people who wrote these religious theories, they lost the understanding of the universe. Mm -hmm. They lost the meaning of what a woman is. The knowledge behind woman is not known to them. They lost it. And for this universe, today, our women are so corrupt, our women are no more thinking in a state of a womanhood. And the universe is, has broken down into pieces. Mm -hmm. So, we have to start training our women. We have to start letting them know that all the active energies in this life are for them. They should start grabbing these energies. They should start using them to meditate. They should start using them to develop themselves so they can use it to raise our children. Mm -hmm. Listen, our women have forgotten about their super energies. So how are they going to raise their children? If you don't know you have this energy, because these are the things you have to use to raise your kids. You have forgotten about these things. So my brother, this topic about woman and womanhood is a very good topic that we have to bring the mind of our women back home. Because they are the only people who can make sure this universe is a place for living. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in our last episode, you've made mention about women and their whole cycle, how spiritual it is and how it can help them and also help the entire community. So we, uh, I know it is something that you cannot see. The, how the, can you see the can you tell us how the process can be done here? Or it should be personal that maybe you have to sit them one on one and tell them how they can use their cycle to meditate to bring out their This is very sacred mm -hmm. knowledge. That need not to be abused. Okay. So the women listening to us, they know what to do. Mm -hmm. They can contact us because you see every woman is with different frequency or vibrations. Okay. So you don't say things general for everybody to go and use. Okay. Somebody will use it and get crushed. Mm -hmm. But you have to talk to the person, interview the person, and know the vibrations that the person is on. Mm -hmm. Then you know the key to give to the person so he she can use it to develop himself. Okay. So the African ancestral knowledge system is not a, it's not a tool that needs to be tempered with. It is a system that can raise a whole generation with a systematic approach. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, is that the reason why when you do something against your mother, who is a woman, and she says something like a curse or cursing you, Sometimes it becomes difficult to break, and as compared to maybe the woman, the, your father's case and your mother's case, which one becomes more difficult? And is it can it be broken if their energy is strong? It can be broken. Mm -hmm. It can be broken. You know what would trigger your mother? What at all would trigger your mother? To guess it. What have you done? It means that for you, for your mother to kiss you, what you, you must have done to her must not be an ordinary thing. For a woman to kiss her own child is not common. But if in any case a woman kiss you, not just your mother, but any woman, any woman to okay. kiss you is serious. You know, many men today are suffering here in Africa and in the diaspora 
because they were cursed by a woman and they took it as a mere thing mm -hmm. and it's destroying them. Yeah. Woman. Woman to open her mouth and say something after you. My brother. Because the energy governing the universe, all the developmental energy, the creative, everything, is a woman, it is the energy. Mm -hmm. So if she open her mouth in a state of anger and say something after you, you will suffer. Bitterly. So that person, unless we played with the energy, the mother energy, mm -hmm. for you to be forgiven. Number one, if maybe your mother's your mother ever cursed you and she's no more, she's now a disease, and maybe you now they've come to you and they were gone through the, the first system and realized that it is the case that the mother has cursed is the cause of maybe the person's problem. The, the mother is now dead and gone. Is it possible to now beg the... It is possible. Mm -hmm. Not just your mother. If any woman at all kisses you and she is no more, mm -hmm. yes, we can call the mother energy. The mother energy as the universe. Mm -hmm. The female energy is governing the universe. And we will equally call the woman. If you know her name, or uh, let's just assume that you don't even know how many women case you. <laughs> we want to call the mother the universe, the mother energies. Mm -hmm. And there are keys that we will apply for them so that you will be forgiven. Then you go through system of cleansing and bathing and you will be okay. There are so many people suffering today, both men and women. Woman can curse woman. Mm -hmm. So, so many things are happening today. So many people are going through a lot of sorrows, a lot of issues, a lot of trouble. And they don't know that they were cursed. Some people, you, you, you wrong somebody and you turn your back and the person cares you, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So these things are destroying us. Especially people who are boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. and you left your woman in a state of anger, you left your mind in a state of anger, and they said all these things after you. My brother, my sister, you will suffer. Mm -hmm. As I am saying that women's energies are the creative or the active energies in the universe. That does not mean that the man does not have energy. The men's energy, because we are not talking about men, that is why I am not mentioning this. They also have very powerful tools, energies governing the universe mm -hmm. so we need to, res to respect our women but our women they have to come back to their senses mm -hmm. the reason is that if you have forgotten about your womanhood if you have forgotten about your powers your energies and you carry the child how are you going to feed this child spiritually how are you going to murder this child? Because you have no idea about your powers. You see, it's not a woman must not just get pregnant and at the end of the night she will go and deliver. No. There are certain things she must take the child through. The reason why we are not giving birth to genius anymore mm -hmm. is because our women lost their consciousness. Mm -hmm. She must educate, she must develop this child before birth. What she wants this child to become, that child must become that. But today, our women lost focus on that. And we are here to teach you all of these things again. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we thank you very much. Uh, let me go for a commercial break. Thank you very much for watching us on uh, Zylos Media. Don't forget, Nyansa is here. We'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Uh, our main sponsor is Afro Connect. 
the Afro Connect is a virtual mall online that allows you to own uh, a shopping mall or a store yeah, online where you can showcase everything, anything that you are doing as an African on, the, uh, on their platform. When you are having your shop in Afro Connect Virtual Mall, what the, the, uh, the website automatically do is that the website automatically advertise your products for you. Like uh, how we have been seeing it, sometimes you will be going, you want to do something online, then you see different adverts flowing on your screen. Sometimes you'll be annoying. Yeah, that's what Afro Connect do for your products. Anytime you have a shop with Afro Connect, they automatically advertise your products for you. Sometimes you are looking for skilled labor to work with, or sometimes you are a skilled labor, you are looking for employment. If you go to the description box and click on Afro Connect and register, you see people that are ready to employ you, not only in Africa, but also outside Africa. So just go to the description box, there is a link in, to, in the description box, click on it, it will take you to Afro Connect. Today's program, we are not going to make it too long. We are not going to make it too long. So let me go to Togo. Let's add up some two or more things, then we end today's conversation. Togo, okay. mm. we are still on the uh, woman mood. You made us understand that the whole universe that is even carrying us is a woman. It's a woman. Togo, okay. some people refuse to take care of their mother. Sometimes their mother don't open their mouth to say anything that like, okay, my son is not taking care of me, so I'm kissing. But, but does that one also work if maybe the mother is gone, is dead and gone, while the mother doesn't really say anything like I'm kissing my child because he or she is not taking care of me? Is there any case that is following that if you are not taking care of the mother? Well, to mother a child is not an easy thing. Mm. For a woman to carry you in her womb for a whole nine months and after birth how you were taken care of before you become what you are today and you decided to avoid your mother know for sure that you avoid the mother universe as well. So if your mother is not opening her mouth, saying anything, the mother universe is watching you. Mm. So we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful. Today, some of the religious bodies will tell you your mother, your grandmother, your grandfather is a witch, mm. this is that. My brother, my sister, open your eyes. Be very careful. If your mother is a witch and she wants to destroy you, she would have done that long ago. <laughs> well, even when you were in her womb, <laughs> she would destroy you. Or when you were giving birth to as a baby, she would destroy you. She did not do that. She raised you for you to become somebody for her. Now somebody else is telling you that that's your mother, fear her, she's a witch or that. Open your eyes. Hmm. Open your mind. Do not be deceived by anybody. Those of you who rejected your homes, your parents, hmm. with this immediate effect, go and make peace with your mother. Hmm. Otherwise, the universe is not asleep. It's watching. So let us respect our women. Let our women come back to herself because the universe has failed as a result of our women. So for everybody to pick up again, for everything to come back to herself or himself, our mothers, our women must be the first to start working. So Every woman is so special. Mm -hmm. Every woman is so powerful. To the sense that there is nothing that can be done or made in this life that are not in support of a female energy. Mm -hmm. So let us all be very careful how we treat our women. But our women themselves, please, 
there is a problem. Hmm. You need to know who is the woman. You need to know who you are. Knowing who you are is very important. It's going to open a whole lot of doors for you. So you will understand how the universe even came and what the purpose of the universe is. And how you can carry, promote, go forward with everything in life. Mm -hmm. So let our women visit called. We can assist you on how to understand your own purpose in life. So great. Hey, how come, let me ask the final person that we ended here. How come that sometimes a woman can give birth to one, two, three, up to four, and he will have problem with sometimes one of that child, or maybe the child has that has done nothing, maybe from infancy. Is there any reason behind your mothers hating their one particular child or hating their child like that, like that? You know, our mothers love all their children. Okay. And if a child is misbehaving, it pains our mother so much. It's not that she hates her own child, mm -hmm. but she is doing that out of not being happy mm -hmm. what she's seeing the child through. About all the advices, all the directives, this child refused to listen to the mother. You know, it's all because our women are no more in state of readiness before receiving a creative seed. Mm -hmm. That is why any seed at all is being received. Even the men, they need to go through proper education how to produce a good creative seed. Mm -hmm. We have to work on ourselves so that we don't give any seed at all to the women. Mm -hmm. So this is where the problem is coming from. The man who is producing the, 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 the seed, you know, the one, let me say this here. Women, their head is a developer. Okay. Again, the head of a woman that receives the semen or the stem, that head of a woman is a developer. Mm -hmm. So it's going to develop the seed received from the man. So she's going to develop it, make the seed grow. So what you gave her is what she's going to nature. Mm -hmm. That is why our men, there are educational stages that men must go through before giving seed to a woman. And women must also go through educational system before receiving a seed. All of these things are available. We want to share with you. Thank you. So we thank you very much for today's uh, episode. Also, we will get back as soon as possible. Now that you have opened your doors for us to be coming, so we will be disturbing you more. <laughs> you are most welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we'll, we are going to end today's episode. Uh, two, yeah, two. we'll be coming, we'll be coming, but we just need your support. Uh -huh. We just need your support. All the machines we'll be using to be roaming about going to uh, elderly ones with the knowledge, we have been renting them. If Xylos Media were to be having its own machines, equipment, it will be very simple and we'll be give, giving you videos frequently without what, a delay. Yeah, without a delay. So kindly support the program so that what, we send messages across Africa. Okay.